Hi, it's Marianne. It's uh, it's Saturday, June 26th, and yeah, seems like it can only make a video once a month these days, but uh, anyway, got cleaning stuff out, so just never mind the background. It's a mess. I've been cleaning out my storage unit, and things are just getting messy. But anyway, really quickly here, I have got my monthly shipment of gold and silver so yeah I still got the gold I might have to mix the gold I don't know I think I'll just keep getting it for the rest of the year we'll see if the price goes up but I don't know what silver coin I have if you see my messy kitchen just don't mind it I took dishes out of storage I got my cleaners out dust <laughs> ladders out <laughs> everything's out sorry I just but I wanted to make a video because today's kind of a a change for me that has to take place so anyway this is pretty much going to stay the same every month it's not going to change it's my 100th ounce of gold so it's an actual little thin bar of gold so there there it is there's glare from the window I had to shut the door because my neighbors they're always so noisy it's tough anyway that's that and then I don't know what the silver is going to be. The gold's going to be the same all the time. That's not like the silver coins. And I'll get up. I've already gotten duplicates on my silver coins, so that's that. Let's see what we got this time. I think it's another duplicate. It's the again the kangaroo. Oh, well, you're not going to see it that way. Okay, I don't want to. Oh, you can see it there, right next to my stepladder. Okay, anyway, that's got to be put away. So, what's happening? Well, things are just not going right. <laughs> I'm not enjoying the retirement life. Not yet. <laughs> but uh, you might see storage tubs in the reflection of my glasses because they're sitting in front of me, the ones I've emptied. So I've put stuff away. Some stuff is still out. I mean, my telescope's over. My telescope is over that way. I got things over this way, things that way. But, you know, 70 bucks a month, that's going to pay my dental and vision insurance. So I kind of had to nix that because uh, I got to make ends meet. But anyways, or I can say it's paying for my silver and gold. <laughs> anyway, it's replacing something. I don't need a storage unit. I just need to get rid of stuff, put stuff away, and just organize my life, which it's hard to organize your life when you have to be involved in other people's lives. So, that being said, my brother's in the hospital again this week. I tried to take care of him over at my brother's house. He got all upset. He went home, and things are, you know, he's not recuperated. And now he has, Guillain-Barre has set in. So he's in the hospital. I was with him all day at the hospital yesterday. He started his treatment last night. And it's, you'll have to just look up that disorder. It's pretty serious. It's, you can, it can paralyze you and it can paralyze your lungs and you can't breathe. It's a pretty serious thing. And you, you kind of, it kind of comes on after you have a flu or something of that nature. And he got it years ago, like 18 years ago. I was at the hospital with him when he had it last time and he was paralyzed last time. So it was quite serious. Um, but uh, he had gotten the flu and it, it was just something, a complication of a flu, some something like that. I'm not a doctor, but you can look all that stuff up. It, what I found out yesterday, there's different variants of it. So because he's not paralyzed yet we got him to the hospital he was getting all numb and it was moving up and so he's already get, he had he had to have a lumbar puncture to test some kind of proteins or something in it and then that's how they kind of can say yeah Guillain-Barre is coming and it's 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 pretty rare it's not you know it's, it's a side effect to something that happens with a virus or even a I can't say the v word but it can happen from one of those. Uh, but he didn't have that. He's not allowed to have any of the V words because he's had Guillain-Barre and he could get Guillain-Barre. So it didn't come from that. He had, when he had his heart attack last month, he also developed pneumonia in the hospital and it was on a ventilator. I don't know if I went into all that with you, but yeah, it was pretty serious. And then, you know, he, he's a miracle guy. So 
now we need another miracle so i'm going to be at the hospital this week with them but you know what it's just all this it for me it's stressful i was getting well and then stuff happens and you can't you know life gets in your way and there's nothing you can do about it except just deal with it so i gotta deal with it but it's like and this is going to sound very selfish, but I just, I want to make plans and I can't make plans. And it's just, it's just been that way for so many years. And now's the time in my life where I'm supposed to be able to make plans. I never re got remarried. I never had more children. This was going to be my time. And well, it's not my time. So that's, that's life. You know, that's just the, just, just the way it goes sometimes. And you just got to push through it and pray that he gets better because it's enough having a heart attack and then the, I'm not sure if it was a stroke, whatever, but, you know, so hopefully just prayers for him to get well, because we're going to have to deal with that. So I'm the only one that doesn't have a job right now, so I'm the one that's going to be going to the hospital, because he's a little brain damaged, so I had to be there all day just to see what all the neurologists were saying, so I had all the information, and I could relay it to all my siblings, and so everybody's on the same page as to what's going on with that sibling, so... Actually, it was a nice visit with them yesterday. It wasn't as bad as when we brought him to stay with one brother, and he just wasn't having it. So, but it would have been the I don't know. He just wanted to go on his own bed, and I can understand that. I'm that way, but he needs help. <laughs> so, there we are. That being said, you know I haven't been concentrating on myself, so I gained like 15 pounds. I don't know how many pounds, but I weighed myself before I took off for the hospital yesterday. It was 212.5 pounds, and I was just, what the heck? What's going on? Why am I gaining weight? Well, obviously, I'm not delivering mail anymore, so I'm not walking miles upon miles upon miles a day. But, you know, it's just like, I just want to make plans for myself and be able to get my own stuff going, and it'll happen. I know it'll happen. And I know it sounds selfish, but you have to do self-care to take care of others. But when you can't do self-care when you're trying to take care of others, because he's at a distance. He's not close by. i got to get on the train and travel just like my mom. But anyway, I'm doing it. I'm not complaining. I'm just, I just have to make the video quickly because i got something else going on downstairs. But I wanted to get this in. So this morning, I just got up. You know, I got home at a decent hour yesterday and just decided I got, I, I can't wait. I got to It's not going to go smoothly right now. I know that because I am stressed and I'm not going to be able to just sit home and make meal plans and do this and that because when I go there to the hospital, I'm not going to have lunch. I can't pack a lunch. I can't eat in the hospital. I can't go in the cafeteria. You can only go sit outside in the heat. So what's going to happen is I'm just going to eat breakfast before I go, which is what I did yesterday, and come home. And I have dinner already ready to heat up. So that's how that's going to go. So I don't want to show what I ate in a day right now because I don't want anyone to follow me skipping a meal. <laughs> I know somebody on here that does two meals a day, <laughs> but that's never been my style because I like to eat. So what I did was I loaded up the iTrack Bites app and I made Saturday my weigh-in day. And so, so far today, I got, I've got everything loaded up. I've got it all loaded up all the way through dinner. So I have 0.5 left. This is giving me, it's showing me for everything that's already plugged in, that's going to be 1,353 calories. So I'm putting in the zero point stuff to to get the calories because I was going to go on the calorie one, but it was giving me 1,500 calories. This is giving me 1,816 daily calories, but I think that's because it's accounting for maybe getting some weeklies in. And uh, so I'm on the what's called the better balance. I Similar to, the, I would say it's, a lot of people are saying it's like the purple plan because it's purple. It looks purple on iTrack Bites, but it's it's the blue plan because there's no zero-point potatoes. There's no, <laughs> I had to count, but I'm going to show you. It does the decimal points, too, which is what I like because where I was on Weight Watchers, the like a cup and a half of hash browns was two points, and on here it's going to do 2.5 points, and my half and half is coming out two tablespoons for 0.7 instead of a whole point is the fat free uh, and then my one teaspoon of oil comes out 1.4 
those points can add up, so you might really be having more points than the 23 points, right? If you if you don't put those decimals in. And so that's why I don't have the decimals in so that I can eat have more half and half. I'm still measuring out a serving, but I want to make it so I'm not having too much potatoes because it would have only been two points on WW, whereas 2.5 points putting the decimal in. So we're not... And if you actually rounded it off, it would be three points. I mean, it should be going in on WW as three points if they were rounding off. I'm not really sure how they're doing it. but So anyway, I like having the decimal. But I, I would say comparing the two, the WW app is a little, probably because I know how to use it. It was a little more smoother. This one, I'm still figuring it out. So, But I got my activity in. I took a two-mile walk today. I did get up and take a walk. And... So I'm not going to just do walking. I got this new leg master thing the other day, and it's kind of hard to do it. You're only supposed to do it a minute a day, but it makes my legs really sore. I can do it but for a minute, but my, like I said, my legs are sore. And then I, I've got other things that I'll show you, but I just wanted to check in, say hi. Oh, I weighed myself this morning, so I put that weight in today, and that was 210.7. So I put that in the... Uh, Okay, you just hit tracker, 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 tracker. At, I hit tracker, then the plus. So I just hit wait, and then, so this is gonna show. <laughs> this is gonna show a lot of weight gain because I had signed up for eye track bites uh, a couple years ago just to compare it to Weight Watchers. So it's showing that gain because we know I lost a lot of weight on. I lost like 38 pounds on Weight Watchers, and I've gained it all plus some back. Because I was 203, I think, when I started Weight Watchers in 2017. So anyway, things haven't been going well for me in the weight category. So I am a little upset about it. But I'm going to have to try to work on it while I'm going to take care of my brother. Because i got to take care of myself too. Because I'm not going to be able to take care of him if I drop dead of a heart attack from being too fat. So, and that's not to say, I'm not diagnosing me with a heart attack or anything. Don't worry. I'm, we're not allowed to diagnose and say we're preventing anything from happening with anything. But just to show you, I'm going to have to start tracking for a while. So I'm going to track with the eye track bites because it's already paid for. And then I renew it. I have the pro plan. It renews in July. So I'll have it for at least one more year. So I have that to work with. I don't have to go because I'm not going to have time to go to a WW meetings going back and forth with my brother. My sister and I went and fixed up his home a bit last week we we're trying to help him out as much as we can she's working now so and she's they just got a new baby in the house yesterday <laughs> so you know it's everybody's busy and it's hard but i'm gonna try to concentrate on zero point foods instead of crackers and chips i got some cherries in there i got watermelon plenty of beans and uh, dinner's already ready because yesterday or yeah, I made a chicken, and early in the morning I made a Fiesta chicken casserole. And when I figure it out on here, it's 7.5 points. And with Weight Watchers, it was 8 points. So it's it's pretty, yeah, it's all pretty much about the same, but not exactly the same if you put the decimal points. So that's where I'm going to go with that. And uh, I just wanted to say hi. It's summertime. It's almost the 4th of July. Hopefully next time my home will look cleaner when I do a video, but I'm just going to say I'm not going to worry about it right now because there's just too much stress as it is. <laughs> I started growing some of my hair back. I don't want to lose. My hair was falling out in the gobs and that kind of stopped because I don't have the stress of the post office anymore. <laughs> but anyway, I got to get back down. I just, well, I got a couple minutes. I am, uh, I don't know what they were doing with the washer downstairs. I share with three other families and uh, because I'm in a fourplex, but they do some I don't know why they had standing water in there this morning. And then she was telling me it wasn't working, but it is working. So I threw some soap and bleach in there, and I'm kind of running a cycle through sanitizing it before I do my stuff. <laughs> hmm, because the husband was wearing a thing with his wife, and I asked him if they were ill. He said no, and I was like, oh, this looks kind of weird. We're outside, and he's but I'm not going to judge, <laughs> but I'm going to be cautious because... I already had that. I don't want it again. And I'm not getting the V word. So not yet anyway. I can't say for sure. I'm, I keep tossing that back and forth.
mostly because I already had the thing and I'm not sure I, I'm just not I'm not convinced either way so I won't do something until I'm convinced so for right now all I'm gonna worry about is I don't want to get it when I have this much inflammation because I already dropped two pounds of water just from yesterday I know I've been swollen I've been getting numb feet and numb calves and I know there's too much water I've been sitting down too much and uh, I mean, I got to exercise last Sunday because I, em I emptied out the entire storage unit by myself. I went up and down, up and down. I had an elevator, but when you go up the elevator, I got to walk all the way to the back, then load up. And so I ended up having three loads because I have a really small car. I have a little tiny hatchback car. It's, it's only three cylinders. It's small, but actually fit quite a bit in the hatchback. So <laughs> I was glad it was only three loads. So I'm going to be, when I am home, I'm going to be screwing around trying to get organized some more. Never gonna, I don't know when I'll completely be organized, but that's going to help me with my success because I, I just I don't want to feel overwhelmed. That's the good thing. I'm not making much money right now, but I'm gonna, I can get by till the end of the year without any issues. But I'm spending too much unnecessary. I'm, I, I got to buy train tickets and everything else, you know, just to do that. Nobody's compensating me for anything. I, it's, it's my family. It's, I'm not getting, the only compensation I'm getting is a bigger heart, so which is fine. <laughs> That's the way things should be done. But uh, so I got to start watching my budget. I can't just go buy stuff. I can't just go do that right now. I'm still debating whether I'm going to do the social security or get a job, but kind of got to see where my family, which way the family situation goes. And <sighs> he doesn't have a wife and kids to take care of him. So, you know, me, I got my son here. He wouldn't let me just lay here. <laughs> if something went wrong, but I don't expect him to take care of me. That's why I got to start concentrating on my health because I don't want to be a burden to him. I don't want to be a burden to anybody because, you know, we all want to make plans. It's not fair if somebody, it's, I mean, Jesus died for all our sins and that wasn't fair. I mean, he gave up his life. And so we have to give up our life sometimes for others. And, uh, it's, you know, life isn't fair. I mean, he paid the ultimate price and so I just got to pay a few prices going back and forth helping out. So I don't know how for how long or what it's going to entail, but, and he can't stay here. He can't walk up the stairs. His feet don't work right. So he, there's no way he could come up and down. But, um, so that, that's just how things are right now. But I do have to try to take care of myself because I don't want to be a burden. I don't want, I mean, my family doesn't need me to get sick and have a heart attack because I'm too fat. I can tell that I'm short of breath. Because just this 10 pounds made me short of breath, just walking from the shower to my chair. Just sitting down because my stomach is so big because I carry a lot of my weight in my stomach right now. And so that's very frustrating. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. And if I get further into it and start doing the eye track bites and I can keep up with the tracking and I'm not traveling every day, then I can do the what I ate in a day. I might start doing them. Um, I mean, other people just eat two meals a day. I don't recommend it. I'm, I'm hungry when I'm getting on the train, but, and I'm not drinking all my water because there's no restrooms for me everywhere. So it's kind of hard. Excuse me. So that's that. But anyway, look for more videos to come. Thanks for watching and listening to my rant. It was kind of a rant because I already got the anger out because, you know, I just, just don't mind the mess back there. I'm washing dishes and putting dishes. I got pots everywhere you know i've got things going <laughs> things are in a disarray but i didn't want to wait to stop in and say hi because life is too short okay it's too short we got to keep in touch with each other and i hopefully i can motivate people i don't want to bring anybody down i want to be positive and i want to i want this to be a positive thing this time and i want it to last because gosh i'm going to be 62 in december so things you know things aren't <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I just know I don't want to be over 200 pounds. I got to get into Wonderland. And who would have thought that was the thing I'd be saying? I got to get to Wonderland. <laughs> wonderful. Just wonderful. But anyway, thanks for watching. And if you liked it, put a like. Uh, and let me know what you're doing. Are you doing anything this summer? Doing anything for the 4th of July? What are your plans? Anyway. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hopefully sooner than a month.